What's up guys and welcome back to another episode. So a couple days ago I went bow fishing and I got this idea. You know, you usually throw out your carp and that's the last you see of them. But since I have so many, I'll show you right here. That was all from one night and I got this idea of setting up a camera over a pile of them and kind of seeing what comes into them. You know, around where I am we have everything from you know, raccoons and bear to bobcats and fishers. I'm just kind of curious to see what might come looking in over it. And so what I'm going to do is leave this pile of carp out here in the middle of kind of nowhere. We're at the edge of this field right now. I want to walk into these woods right here and kind of try to find like an area of where I should put these so I can get some good footage of it. Because I want to leave these guys out and see what comes to the pile, you know. I'm just kind of interested what might come to it. So I'm kind of like in this spot right here, you know. It's kind of like, it's almost like a little dish. It's got like walls around it. But my plan is... Just kind of plop the fish in there somewhere and then probably that tree right there I'm gonna put a camera on and hopefully we get some good footage but first off we got to put the fish here we'll show you that right now all right so we got it backed up right here we're just gonna unload these carp right now God, this thing's heavy. <laughs> That's a lot of fish. All right, but all I'm gonna do is just kind of spread these out right here, probably in just a pretty big pile right here. Walker, what are you doing, dude? You like to fish it? Hmm? Yes, he does. So, like I said, I'm just gonna pile them right here, and we'll set up my trail camera. Let's, let me grab that real quick. This camera right here, and I, like I said, I'm going to hook it on probably that tree that's back there, and then hopefully we'll get some good footage. Alright, so we got the fish piled right here now, and now I'm just going to hook up this camera right here, and then we should be good to go. Alright, so let's pick out a tree. Uh, I was thinking that one, but I think that might be a little far away. I'm kind of thinking of this one right here. If we get it, if we take it and we put it kind of at this height right here, I think that should be good and we should be able to see just about everything. All right, so we're just going to tighten this guy onto this tree right now. Hopefully nothing comes along and takes it off the tree because then we won't see anything. I kind of want a little higher than that though. Hold on a little bit. Walker, what are you doing? Walker. All right, so what I'm going to do is just leave this pile here for a couple days, and then I'll come back and check on it. Hopefully, we'll have some good footage or something, so you guys might want to stick around to see what happens. All right, guys, so I just got back from checking the camera, and the SD card was full. We got a bunch of stuff on there, and I'm pretty curious to see what's on here. So let's just jump right into the clips, and let's see what we got. All right, so first up, it looks like we had a couple doe walk in. Uh, that kind of surprised me. I think they're just kind of checking things out to see what's kind of going on because I doubt these guys have ever really seen a carp. They're probably trying to figure out what the heck. Oh, this guy's going to give us a close-up right here. Look at that fur. Mm, there he is. Saying hi to the camera. But no, they're just coming out of their winter fur and they're looking a little patchy right now. You know, the fur's looking a little kind of nasty. I wonder what's going through their head right now, like as far as where'd this fish pile come from, what is a fish pile, and why is it here? And then a little bit later, this is about an hour later, another deer came in and I can, I'm pretty certain it's not one of the same ones because just by looking at his head, it looks like quite a bit younger of a deer. Is it a doe? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a doe right there. But I think that is a completely different one. He's kind of not really sure about everything. Nope. Going around the tree to get a better look at it. Hmm. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, there's a squirrel. He didn't stay long at all. I don't know what his deal was. If he hopped from tree to tree and then finally came across him just to check it out real quick. And then he thought it was kind of weird. So he's like, let's get the heck out of here. But either way, that's all we had was like five seconds. And then we have another deer. It is so weird to me 
that so many deer are trying to check out this pile. And I, like I said, I don't know if these are any of the same ones coming back, but judging by how they're acting, these ones were a little bit more like weary of it, I guess you could say. They weren't really quite sure what to make of it. But yeah, it's so weird to see so many deer coming to this pile. All right, now here's something I kind of expected to see. I forgot, oh, look at him tear that up. You know, he's messing up. Yeah, well, we got a hawk here. You know, I was kind of pretty sure that we'd have one of these come along, especially with it being a pile like this. But it is also kind of weird because I had this buried back in the woods a little ways, so I don't know if they can smell or if they can see enough of it to check it out. I don't know how that worked. But now we have two of them on the pile. And they just, they're having a field day. I don't know. Now here's something I was thinking we'd see a little bit earlier on. Was this raccoon climbing up this tree? I don't know what he did. He must have ran right in camera and jumped right up the tree. Oh, it looks like they're getting pretty relaxed. I was honestly surprised. Like I said, these guys didn't show up sooner. You know, I was expecting these guys to be everywhere within the first night, but it took them a little bit to get adjusted to it. Now this guy's coming to check out the camera. He didn't mess with it too much. Now this one has to check out the camera a little bit more. He fogged it up. Here's the hawk back. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just not a huge fan of the way birds look. They're kind of freaky looking. Here's the way they walk around. I don't know. I don't know if that's just me, if that's weird, I don't know, but oh, there's two of them now. But yeah, they just kind of like freak me out and I'm not really a hundred percent sure why. A possum. This looks like a pretty fat one too. I can't believe he didn't come in the first night. But and what else is weird is that that possum was the only thing that came in that night. I don't know what's up with that or why but that one fat possum is all that came in right there. And our hawk friends back. Look at them move. Look at their heads. They just almost look like aliens or dinosaurs. I don't even know. They're just freaky looking. Here's something I wasn't expecting to see and I completely forgot that we even had these around here. This big porcupine right here is just cruising along. He didn't stick around too long. I don't even know if he meant to walk by right there if he was just trying to get back to his tree or what but we got that clip of his butt right there. He's a fat one. What is this? Oh, it's Hawk again. Okay, I don't know what he's doing right here. I don't know if any of you guys know what this means. Like, I don't know if he's trying to check to see if the fish are alive, if he's trying to, I don't know what he's doing. But if any of you guys know what that kind of wing spread thing is right there, be sure to let me know. I hope you guys are pretty excited about this one. I couldn't believe this when I saw this clip right here. Check that out. That is insane. A bobcat. I was not expecting to get one of these on camera, and it's a pretty big one at that. He just comes cruising along like you can see right there. Kind of glancing over at it a little bit, but he never comes to the pile. He's just kind of patrolling. I don't know if they have some kind of circle that they do, you know, like from day to day, but that's all we got of him was, a, was that little clip right there. That was pretty cool though, and like I said, that's a pretty big one. Now we got more raccoons. This guy decides to mess with our camera a little bit. There's some raccoon armpit for you. And wouldn't you know, he readjusts our camera for us. That's pretty nice of him. Out of all the animals, probably the raccoons are my favorite to come in. They're just kind of neat to watch. Now we got a possum coming back. I don't know if this is the same one from the night before, but it's always just one. Oh, he's getting around there. Look at him dancing around. And then we got a turkey buzzard. These things are... I've, this is another thing I wasn't really thinking about. I mean, you see them all the time, but I wasn't expecting to see one of them on this pile. And he didn't hang out as long as I thought he would. And usually there's more than one, but for some reason, it's just this guy. And then what I thought was funny is this raccoon came in 
one of the last nights and readjusted the camera back. So when I went and checked the camera and noticed that it hadn't moved, so I expected, you know, that a bear hadn't came through, the camera had actually moved and then been put back in its place. And then if you watch here real close in the right hand corner, right there. That's all we got of this. It looks, to me it looks like a young fox kit or pup or whatever you want to call it. And, but all I got was that second, like couple second clip of him popping his head in right there. Alright guys, this is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. It's something new, something a little different. I just wanted to give it a try since you know I did have so many carp to use from my last video. I figured this could be a good change from some of my other videos to maybe jump into a new type of content. If you guys did like this type of video, be sure to let me know and I'll try to make some more. You know, let me know what kind of things you want to see next. You want to see a pile of this or that, you guys just let me know. But this is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.